right, good morning. We're in the shop today working on the 79 Bronco, getting it all prepped to sell, okay? And let's go ahead and see what we got going on here, all right? All right, here we go. Got her up on the lift. Got Adam here. Uh, tell me, bud, what do we got, got going on on the Bronco today? Well, we got some icky noises going on in the heater core box today. We're going to roll this forward so we have access to the doors. We're going to open up the glove box. We are going to remove that heater core and see if we can't get in there and rebuild this fan motor. All right, awesome. Awesome, and these things are kind of like a little bit of a pain in the butt because it is a bigger unit. Pulling that whole thing away, gonna have to end up coming around here, getting all the bolts off of it, pulled away from the wall. Like you were saying, come into the heater core there, all right? So, but let's go ahead and get after it. All right, so quarter inch of tolerance to get this bad boy out. Sheesh. Let's see here. It's a tight. Man, they don't make this easy at all, huh? No. No, and they only get funner with time. So I start getting brittle and stuff like that. Oh, all well, that, and then there's uh, a lot more components to the new vehicles. Oh, okay. Electric plugs everywhere, motors everywhere. Let's try not to. Yeah, it's already got a crack through it and everything. Is that just a rubber compound that's gotten harder? Yeah. Over the years, yeah. Yeah. Soft rubber generally turns into hard plastic after so long, especially right. being hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah. See here. Okay. See the cracks in this bad boy right there. Yeah. And so that's the air condi or conditioning unit right there, correct? Yes. It's the AC core. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I'm just coming to hang out. You're just coming to hang out? Yeah. All right, well, we're just in here. We just got the heater core off the truck and the fan and everything like that. So, huge hole right here that goes to the engine compartment. That's what she said. <laughs> That's a big hole indeed. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So. Well, actually, there was quite a bit of stuff here that uh, came out of there. Um, so glove box didn't have to come out to bring it out? No. No, we just had to do some reaching around. That's what she said. Was that just an Allen? Where you can little key there, yeah. that retaining bolt to keep it in place. Yeah. And there's also this this little clip in here. 
Oh, okay. And that's one of those, uh, what'd you call it? Um, a Jesus clip. A Jesus clip? Oh, Jesus clip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you say, oh, Jesus, when you drop it and lose oh, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all the prayers in the world to make sure it didn't go somewhere it didn't. Yeah. Well, did you already pull it out of the box or is it still in it? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a pretty, so it doesn't actually have a propeller blade on it then. This is just a motor. Yeah, the squirrel cage is inside. Okay. Then what, uh... we, we went back in quite a bit easier, and I'm sure you're going to see me taking a moment to pull this this heater box out there. And uh, on the inside, we've got everything heat wrapped, uh, shrink wrapped for moisture, condensation, protection. Uh, it's time to go back in, hook some heater core hoses back up. I don't think we're going to put the original AC lines back in. We'll probably find a nice, convenient way to cap them off. And um, back to dressing up the wire harness and make this. Make this look as pretty as it needs to be. Yeah, that thing's blowing pretty darn good, dude. For low? That's on low. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good deal. Hell yes, dude. Yeah, I didn't even blow nowhere near that hard before or anything like that. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. All right, guys. So, Melissa and I are talking. We've got the, let me show you here, these panels here in the back of the Bronco. And these are like a replacement, like, um, board. Original ones are long gone. So, I was just going to take them off and put fabric on it. She's saying I should just take it down to a poster shop, have them do something that's a little bit nicer because they're, uh, they'll be a little bit more finished than what I end up doing. So, I tend not to argue with the wife. So, mm -hmm. that's what we're probably going to end up doing, just taking those off, taking them down to a poster shop. Hopefully, the turnaround time's not too long. So, anyways, all right, let's get after that, take them off. All right, so took pictures of the interior here, the cloth, and they've got this vinyl on these seats, and I'll have to decide whether we want to do like this wood grain vinyl-like looking stuff, or if we want to go cloth, like that's on the top of the seats. I really like the look of this wood grain vinyl. Fake, whatever it is, but it just looks better. 
we'll probably end up doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to run over to the upholstery shop and get that going. I'm just going to continue the work on the truck. Take lunch here at some point because we all need food. Yep. Many hours later. All right, we just got home from dropping off the interior panels for the Bronco. Uh, and we were over in town a little bit longer than we were expecting. Ended up getting a haircut while I was there because that was duly noted. You know, looking like a hippie and everything. Anyways, Adam wrapped up some more stuff on the Bronco. He said, I'll be pleasantly impressed when I get in there. So let's go check it out. All right, let's see here. I think he started it. It smells like exhaust a little bit in here. So, ooh, yes. Wiring is definitely cleaned up quite a bit. So he cleaned up that side over there. And then this side, this harness is cleaned up too. Running down, yeah, that looks so much better. Definitely pretty happy with that. I do want to get it out on the road now and see what it's like with him doing the uh, new uh, vacuum, uh, not a vacuum assist. Oh, I can't remember what it's called right now. We're gonna cut this out because I'm sounding like a retard. No, you're leaving because you are a retard. So, pretty outstanding day, dude. I'm way hyped up. Adam's freaking knocking it out of the park left and right. Uh, we're gonna have to end up doing a little bit of talking about uh, him and what he's doing coming on board with us in Paper Beats Rock, but yeah, this is just amazing. Was able to get a ton of good recording in, all right? Anyways. Go ahead and uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and get out there and get stuck in your projects, guys. Get after it. Let me know how it's going. We'll see you on the next one.